Antarctica Empire of the Penguin opened on May 24, 2013 as SeaWorld Orlando's largest expansion in park history. The expansive realm opened with a new restaurant, retail location, penguin exhibit, and an all-new ride. Ten years later, the marquee attraction of the realm is closed forever. So what happened to SeaWorld Orlando's Antarctica Empire of the Penguin? SeaWorld's Antarctica Empire of the Penguin was a first-of-its-kind investment for SeaWorld Parks and Entertainment. It was the first trackless dark ride in the company's history and the only ride in the world that exits guests into the largest open-air penguin exhibit. In addition to being SeaWorld's most significant investment and expansion, it was seemingly the first time SeaWorld attempted to compete with Disney and Universal by creating a cohesive experience with elaborate theming, storytelling, dark ride technology, and areas for guests to shop and eat. Before entering the ride vehicle, guests would watch two pre-shows providing context to the expedition they would take with Puck, the attraction's mascot. Guests would also have a choice to make while waiting in the queue, mild or wild adventures. Mild adventures were relatively tame in which the ride vehicle would meander smoothly throughout the ride's path. In contrast, the Wild Adventures would cause the vehicle to spin, vibrate, and move more erratically. The ride vehicle's technology created 32 ride solutions in which the path and movements of the vehicle could falter. Empire of the Penguin was Seward Orlando's second indoor ride and featured a low hire requirement allowing the whole family to enjoy it together. During the ride's tenure, it did not quite meet the standards of a Disney or Universal Dark Ride. Reviews of the attraction were not great, but the ride was still a solid element to SeaWorld's lineup of park offerings. The ride benefited park guests by offering an experience during Florida thunderstorms when all other coasters and family attractions were closed. Antarctica starkly contrasted the current roller coaster offerings at SeaWorld, in which an 80-year-old grandparent most likely will not be able to handle the forces or speeds of Manta, Mako, or even the newest family coaster, Icebreaker. However, those individuals were able to ride Antarctica Empire of the Penguin. Although the dark ride certainly did not live up to the high quality nature of SeaWorld's sister park, Busch Gardens Williamsburg, which had a far superior dark ride, Curse of Dark Castle. From 2013 to March 2020, Antarctica Empire of the Penguin operated and continued to be a centerpiece of the realm. However, the unexpected COVID-19 pandemic caused SeaWorld to close its gates and all attractions within the park. When SeaWorld reopened after its closure in June 2020, the Antarctica Empire of the Penguin ride did not reopen with it, which is where the mystery begins of why it closed forever. SeaWorld listed the ride as temporarily closed on the company's website when the park reopened. Months passed and SeaWorld's temporary closure of Antarctica Empire of the Penguin seemed more permanent. Guests on social media asked SeaWorld repeatedly, when would Antarctica Empire of the Penguin reopen? However, SeaWorld's social media team left all questions with no answers. In November 2020, guests had the opportunity to walk on the right path of Antarctica Empire of the Penguin during SeaWorld's Inside Look event. During this opportunity, the projection screens and sets remained intact. By the time 2021 arrived, the ride still had yet to reopen when other nearby theme parks were back to business as usual with little to no modifications to attraction operations. In 2021, Empire of the Penguin was again used as an inside look location and the ride path and set designs remained untouched. In May 2021, SeaWorld removed Antarctica, Empire of the Penguin, and Wild Arctic as rides from the company's website. From this point, SeaWorld continued leaving guests on social media without answers regarding what happened to the attraction, or if the attraction would ever reopen. With no answers, speculation was the only thing left on the table for guests wondering what happened to the ride. The leading and most probable rumor is that SeaWorld failed to keep the ride vehicles charged during the park's closure, ultimately destroying the batteries in the trackless vehicles. Many people have suggested that the cost of replacing the batteries is far higher than the demand for the attraction. Plus, the attraction encountered many malfunctions during its operation. 
Therefore, SeaWorld abandoned the ride instead of making a large investment to fix the mistake of not maintaining or charging the ride vehicles during the pandemic. When Empire of the Penguin initially closed, many rumors suggested that the ride was closed as SeaWorld could not social distance riders or maintain the cleanliness of the ride vehicles due to the proximity of the vehicles to the Penguin exhibit. This rumor at the time was valid. SeaWorld could not use chemicals to disinfect each vehicle with penguins nearby. Of course, that rumor does not hold much value three years later or even two years ago, as SeaWorld no longer follows the same cleaning practices they initiated during the height of the pandemic. The final nail in the coffin for SeaWorld's Antarctica Empire of the Penguin ride became apparent when a TikTok user posted a video of the ride vehicle sitting outdoors in an undisclosed location. Many SeaWorld educators working the Penguin exhibit have previously told guests that the ride would reopen, but they did not know when. However, it is evident that a ride reopening is not in the cards for SeaWorld, and guests will no longer be able to slip and slide on the ice with Puck. To this day, SeaWorld has not formally announced the ride's closure. For some park visitors, there is still the belief that the ride will reopen one day and that the ride is still closed due to SeaWorld's inability to disinfect the ride vehicles. For first-time visitors to SeaWorld, there is an assumption that the marquee facade of the attraction would warrant a ride at the end of the wait time, leaving some guests disappointed when they wait 60 plus minutes and the ride never comes to fruition. However, in the near future, the wait time sign on the facade may once again serve a purpose for a ride. The ride in question will not be a revamp of a new trackless dark ride system. Instead, SeaWorld Orlando is likely receiving a new prototype family coaster. SeaWorld has titled itself as the roller coaster capital of Orlando, adding a new roller coaster to the Antarctica realm only as to that title. SeaWorld is clearing land beside Sea Lion and Otter Stadium and behind Expedition Cafe and Glacial Collections to make way for the new investment. While it may be too early to tell, SeaWorld will likely reuse the dark ride path allowing the roller coaster to be partially indoors while the rest of the ride track ventures outdoors. Time will tell what will become of the area as the former ride may go into SeaWorld's history as a ride that never received a proper send-off or proper closure through a formal announcement. Antarctica Empire of the Penguin may have not matched the standards of a Disney or Universal dark ride. Still, it was an ambitious project allowing SeaWorld to showcase its abilities in theming, exhibit innovation, and taking guests to the bottom of the world through fantastic rock work, new technology for the company, and a unique soundtrack. Thanks for watching this video. If you experienced SeaWorld's Antarctica Empire of the Penguin, what did you think of the attraction? Is SeaWorld making the right move by replacing the ride with another roller coaster, or would you have chosen an alternative attraction? If you enjoyed this video, please consider checking out our other video, Beneath the Waves of SeaWorld's Evolving Orca Shows, discussing the history of SeaWorld's Orca Shows and the questionable shift to educational presentations. <laughs>